What's up, guys? Rudolanel here, coming back at you with another pretty simple, pretty easy Python tutorial for the image module. And um, I want to introduce this function getPixel. And getPixel is really simple, but at the same time, it's really, really useful. Because maybe sometimes you actually want to process an image, parse through all of an image, and do something with that data. Which is funky, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's doable. So let's take a look. Image.getPixel. Now this takes a coordinate, of course, and it actually takes it as a tuple. So um, I'll say coordinate can equal x and y, just so we have those values in case we need them. And let's say, uh, what pixel do we want, guys? Any idea? Dude, 69's got to be in there, just because we're mature adults here. <laughs> and um, let's say... Um, 64. I don't know if that's going to get us all that far. In the x value. Alright, y value can be 69. <laughs> we have a special place for 69. And um, 180, let's say, for our x value. So let's get a pixel at that coordinate. I don't really know what we're going to find here. Um, let's go ahead and run this. Let's print out what we got. So this is the band. Okay, <laughs> now here's some new lingo, here's some new terminology for you. A band is a set of values, or like, there's, there's, one val there's one set of values per pixel, per image pixel, of course. Monochrome or grayscale images have only one band, and color images in the RGB system have three bands. CMYK images have four, yada, yada, yada. But, I mean, Photoshop users should know or recognize bands similar to like Photoshop channels because it's just really representing the color or the data that that image has at that pixel. Now this is a four value band because we have red, green, blue, and the alpha channel, RGBA. So 54 red, 107 green, 152 blue, 255 alpha. So if I were to take a guess, this is probably part of the blue color of our snake. So image.show. Let's run that. I wish I could know, like, where my cursor is. Maybe Image Magic could, like, display that or something for me, but maybe we're somewhere, I don't know, in here or something. So, um, there it is. There's getPixel. It'll display the color or the band or the data value, whatever you want to call it, at any coordinate you'd like. So, you could potentially loop through your entire freaking image and get all the information about it. Now, I have to give out a word of warning here. This method, the function, is really kind of slow. If you need to process larger parts of the image, there's a, there are things called pixel access objects, which you could work with, or we could work with the getData method, or the getData function. And we're going to be looking at that in the next tutorial. So, <laughs> there's a little cliffhanger for you guys. <laughs> and uh hope you enjoyed this one, get pixel. Next we'll move on to get data.